Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to my channel. If you don't know, I'm Mike Chambers. I'm here at my shop, Seven Swords Tattoo Company in Asheville. I also have a location in Philly. If you get a chance, if you're in either city, check them out. Um, all right, cool. So I'm gonna do a little review. I just got these black claw cartridges. A lot of hype surrounding these right now. I was really excited. I was waiting for these to drop. And as soon as I saw them posted, I ordered a couple boxes. Um, they're they're starting out with like um, limited groupings and tapers and everything right now because honestly, making a million different sizes in the very beginning is uh, is probably not the best idea. And, and these guys are are not stupid at all. Um, so I ordered the straight nines and the fifteen curved. Um, I'm a big fan of the Black Claw needles on bars. I, well, I haven't used them in a little while, but because I switched to mostly cartridges, but um, I was using them quite a bit. Anyway, so let's, I've already opened them up and checked them out. I actually uh, used the 15 mag the other day, but let's pop this open. I mean, one of the things that's cool about Black Claw right now is they're using recycled material and recyclable material. I don't know if it's actually compostable. Um, says, we love tattooing. Our mission is to promote and protect tattooing through dedication to innovation and responsibility. The biodegradable box you are holding is made of 100% recycled paper. Cool. Sterilized and disposable. Well, it doesn't say it's compostable, but it's still um, eco-friendly, and and that's that's pretty awesome. I'm stoked on that. Um, all right, so this looks like kind of like a salmon color. This cartridge, um, yeah, it's different. It's cool. Um, definitely haven't seen a salmon color. They have a they have a membrane, so the ink isn't going to go back. A, I'm going to be using this Cheyenne Solterra. And I've got like, I don't know what size grip that is, but it's small, but I like, I like to have it small because then I can add just a bunch of Scentsy Wrap to it, um, to however I feel. But lately I've been noticing having a smaller grip actually helps with um, like corporal tunnel stress and tendonitis stress. And I just had to deal with a bunch of that lately. And, and I'll probably make a video on that because I think that's a pretty big deal to tattooers. Um, Sounds pretty smooth. Doesn't sound rickety. Sometimes cartridges can sound really rickety whenever you use them. Um, yeah. All right, so I don't know. The membrane feels pretty, pretty smooth. I don't feel any resistance like they don't feel like they have too much resistance. You don't feel anything catching on it. Um, let's compare it to, typically I use Cheyenne cartridges just because, I mean, for the most part, like I think they're the best that I've found. There are some other brands that are, that are really good. Um, this is a Cheyenne Power 9. And I'm not gonna put them against each other in the tattoo. Just feeling it. There's actually a lot less, a lot less resistance in this black claw than the Cheyenne. Honestly, it feels smoother. But yeah, awesome. Okay, so I'm really excited to try this thing out. And my client today has no idea that I'm going to experiment on him. All right. Let's do it. All right, so far so good.
All right, so quick little tattoo, no big deal. Yeah, that literally took like 15 minutes. <laughs> Poor kid, had no idea what he was getting into. Is whenever uh, I'm doing a big tattoo, halfway through, the needle just dulls out. The, the needle stayed sharp throughout the entire tattoo, which was fucking awesome because I don't know that I've found any needles that can last through an entire back piece without dulling out. And I'm tattooing for like a 30 minutes struggling, trying to get a line in before I realize, go, oh, fuck, I got to change the needle. This shit is too dull. Um, because I'm used to like really quality needles on needle bars. But for some reason, people put like substandard um, subpar needles in cartridges. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe just the fucking steel is getting shittier. And that's why I went to Black Claw on the needle bar and some other companies that I work with and I'll do other reviews on other needles and stuff. But, uh, but I was extremely satisfied and happy to feel that the needle did not dull through that entire tattoo. And it wasn't a quick tattoo. It was a little hard for him to sit still, but I fucking totally understand. I have my stomach tattooed. That shit sucks. Tattoos hurt. Pro, the needles did not dull. Um, I'm going to need to definitely tattoo more with it to get a really solid, solid opinion. But straight out of the gate, that's fucking awesome. That's like a number one thing for me. Uh, downside, the con, I noticed the reservoir for the ink. Did not hold as much ink as I would like. I had found myself dipping a whole lot more than um, I would have liked to. But, you know, you kind of take the good, you take the bad, and there you have facts like you you got to weigh it out. And I say the, I say the pros outweigh the con. Uh, maybe it was just that tattoo. Maybe I was just getting a little bit frustrated with my client moving quite a bit while I was lining. Um, not his fault. Um, well, kid had a lot of heart. Obviously, form your own opinion on this product. Um, tattooing is, you know, different strokes for different folks. There's things that I love that other people hate. There's things that other people love that I just can't tattoo with at all. Um, but, you know, I like to try a little of everything. I pay for all my needles. I paid for these black claw. I pay for all my black claw. I pay for all my Cheyenne. I, you know, um, so there's no biasness in that review. Finding a really good cartridge to do a nice bold line has been a struggle. And I, I think that black claw really nailed it on this needle. I, I look forward to trying different groupings. Um, I'm going to order some more. I kind of regret not ordering more of a variety whenever I got these, but I just jumped on them real quick, ordered some. Yeah, the mag. Um, I really uh, actually enjoyed the mag. I didn't use it a whole lot because I was trying a few different mags at the same time. Um, I really liked them. I liked them. I don't think, you know, hopefully the needles set these apart but i didn't really feel like um like the mags like really were set apart that much there's a lot of really good products out on the market i mean they're a good quality product i think whenever you know you're supporting black claw you're supporting tattooers you're supporting um people that care about tattooing and also are trying to keep the environment in mind because we are really, really, really using a lot of disposable plastics and shit that's just just not good for the environment. Honestly, you know, everyone's trying to go eco-friendly and all that stuff. If you really want to go eco-friendly, just use steel tubes and needles. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. That's cool. Whatever. I don't care. Um, I'm just trying to help you guys out a little bit, share a little bit of uh, knowledge. I'm not trying to teach anyone how to tattoo. Um, that's not what this is about. And uh, cool. Hope to see you guys around. Peace. <laughs> that will never make it in.